today we're going to be talking about an old subject, bringing that back to life, baby. It's something we discussed many months ago, many, many months ago, but now we're going to revamp it. We're going to look at a new way of doing it and hopefully help you guys out. We're talking about becoming a key-binded player. The problem with being a key-binded player or being a clicking player is many of the times we're doing okay. We're doing fine. We're doing absolutely fine. Nobody's really noticed this because nobody can see us play unless we release a Fraps video of us clicking, in which case we realise straight away, don't we guys, and a lot of people have made that mistake in the past. Oh, uh, what we want to do today is turn you from a clicker to a keybinder because it's very easy for people who've been clicking for a very long time to actually start to believe themselves to be okay, I'm doing just fine man. You can't say anything about my play because it's all gravy. Everything is good in the house, I'm doing just fine. Well, let me tell you is that that feeling is wrong. It is wrong. A key binding player is always going to be better and it's going to feel more comfortable for you and you're going to start to enjoy your game again. We've been over this argument many times in the past and if you're adamant that you're fine being a clicking player, good for you. You enjoy yourself, but I'm telling you now, you're actually wrong, unfortunately. I'm, I'm not trying to shit on your parade or anything like that. I'm just trying to let you know the truth of the matter and in the back of the mind, I'm pretty sure you know it too. So hopefully today I can help you out. In the past, I've done three videos on this subject, and still some people send me a message saying, Preacher, I've tried everything you said in that video, and I just cannot get it. The problem is we're trying to break a habit that is very difficult to break. A habit we have, might have been dealing with for years and years. A lot of us have been playing this game for a very long time. And if we clicked from the start and we're still clicking now, that's actually years of habit that we need to break. Almost like smoking in a way. And we need to break that habit. How do we do it? So in my videos, I suggested a routine of doing that, which was to keybind a couple of spells, unbind some other stuff, and just get used to it. We've proved in the past that keybinding players do respond quicker, naturally. That's just the way it works, especially when it comes to moving and doing stuff at the same time. So how do we change this habit? All I've done, this is the main message I get from you guys, is that I've stood in front of that training dummy. I've binded one, th one through four spells, my main DPS spells, and I'm tunneling into it. And after a couple of hours or so, I'm really starting to feel comfortable with it. Then what happens, we go into a heroic, or we jump into a raid, or we jump into a battleground, oh, it all just falls apart. Why? Because the training dummy is not providing us with anything to other else to think about other than being keybinded. We're focused so heavily on that, that we don't realise that actually, this isn't like playing the game. It really isn't. It's nothing like playing the game. When we actually get into an environment where people are curtling at us to kill us, or run their knife through our stomachs, Oh, we're just getting in a raid where we've got boulders falling down on us, these purple blobs raining from the sky. Whatever it might be, this is a whole different environment. And our natural instinct is to fall back to what we know. And our habit is to click. So we get stuck in this thing. I'm like, I'm a train dummy, I'm fine. When I get into a raid or I get into a battleground, it all falls apart. What the hell can I do, preacher? What can I do to fix this problem? Well, I'm going to throw this at you guys because I've suggested this in private messages and emails to people and they've responded saying, boom, that did the trick. I've absolutely started to change my ways and I'm really starting to notice the difference. In fact, people who've been clicking for years and years won't realise the difference until they actually become keybinding, which makes it very difficult to promote the idea of switching, but I certainly recommend that you do. So this idea is simple. Let's say we're going to take a random class, and my favourite class. We'll pick the warrior, okay? We've got this warrior, level 85, around about 20, 25 spells in his spell book that we all need to use on a reasonably regular basis. Some big cooldowns, some short cooldowns. And I just can't seem to get this bad boy keybind in. I've tried it at the training dummy, but then I jump into a battleground, I charge into somebody, I keybind that, I pop my mortal strike, and then suddenly I've got frost bolts coming at me, I need to do things fast, and I start clicking away. I also jump into a raid, start doing my DPS, but then I've got to start moving, I've got to be heroic leaping, blah, 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 and I fall back into the same routine. This is what you do, guys, and this really works. I've tried it many, many, uh, well, I've suggested it to many people, and it works, okay? Is you literally re-roll from level one, the same class, okay? Now, before you jump into jumping down my throat saying I should re-level my class, you don't need to cap it. What we're actually trying to do is create a simulated battle environment where we're not burdened by having 20, 25 spells to think about, okay? So before we do this, what we do is we get a piece of paper, or we open Notepad, or we open our spreadsheet, whatever you might be doing, and we make a list of what our keybinds are going to be. We plan it out beforehand, okay? Now the reason for doing this is you'll start to realise that your main spells that you use all the time, you're actually going to want them on your pretty quick access buttons, probably 1, 2, 3, 4, and maybe Shift 1, 2, all that kind of stuff, okay? And pre-plan that out. Think about all your spells, 
Where do I want that? Well, shield wall is actually a really big cooldown and I can't use it all the time. So maybe I want that on a key binding that's not as quick as number one. I don't want shield wall on number one because one is something I want to spam all the time. So now I think, what's a comfortable position? Get your hand on the keyboard. Put your hand on the keyboard and say, that's all really comfortable. The letter C is comfortable, the letter T, the letter R, the letter F. These are all comfortable buttons that I have to move around to. Shift F is actually really easy. That's only that. Shift F. It's like a guitar. Check me. That's your shift F. That's your shift F chord. Rock and roll. So you need to do that. You need to plan it out all beforehand. Then we re-roll. Now the good thing about this is you can re-roll a new faction. You can re-roll a different race. And you can actually explore the game in a different way than what you might have done in the past. So you can double your fun. Double the fun. All in one go. That's preacher time. <laughs> so what we do then is in fact we don't have these 20 to 25 spells, do we? We have one, two spells. Easy. And now we have a whole level. These are quick levels earlier on, obviously. But we have one level or two levels to just get used to pressing those buttons. And we're doing it in an environment where we are doing some PvE, we're jumping around, we're killing some mobs, and it's not just stood in front of a train, don't be whacking away trying to practice this rotation. And I say rotation because there's no such thing as a rotation in World of Warcraft. What we're actually saying is put yourself in an environment where you're looking around the screen, you're getting used to it, and all you have to do is find one or two buttons. And while you're doing that whole level, you'll get used to pressing that button while fighting, while actually dealing with stuff going on in the game. What we then do is we level, we get a couple more spells, we add them on. Now we've got a whole level, which is slightly longer than the first, to keep practicing those three spells. And we start to build it into our hands. We're developing this muscle memory. And it is muscle memory. Now some of you are going to think, Preach, you take this game well too serious. Trust me, these are the things that make your enjoyment of the game that little bit better. And that's what we want to do. You're paying monthly for this game. I want you to enjoy it to the max. I really do. And this is what I recommend you to do to get into this habit. Because once you keep binded, you will never look back. They're not in the history of mankind, in the, in the world of gaming, has anybody been a keybinded player and then reverted back to being a clicker because he found it more fun. That has never happened. What has happened is clickers have become keybinders and never look back. You see what I'm saying? Nobody's gone the other way. No one was like, oh, I'm keybinding, so I'm going to be a clicker now because it's more fun. That has never happened. People have gone from being a clicker to keybinding because it's more fun. That is enough said, guys. That is the more than enough proof that it has never ever gone in the other direction. Never ever. So now we're levelling. We've got some nice levelling. We're enjoying different parts of the game. Some quests we've never done before. Exploring the revamped Cataclysm early zones. If you've never done that, go ahead and do this. Why not even do it on a different class? You don't have to be the same class, although I do recommend that primarily to get used to it. But try a new class, because essentially we've all got the same kind of spells, okay? We've all got four or five main DPS spells. And then you easily apply it to other classes. What do I do when I'm keybinding? Well, I'll tell you for a start. My interrupt, which is the letter E, E is interrupt for every single class that I have that can interrupt. All the same. And now I pre-program that this finger presses E when I want to interrupt. It doesn't matter what class I'm playing, be it a mage, it's my spell lock or counter spell. And it's wind shock on my shaman, it's pummel on my warrior, a kick on my robe, all exactly the same. My main attack, which is usually, let's say, an elemental shaman would be lightning bolt, or it would be mortal strike, or it would be sinister strike, they're all number one. And you get into this lovely feeling that it's all comfortable. Your muscles naturally develop this thing. Your brain between your hand will naturally start to pick up this rotation, this way of play, and it all falls together nicely. The characters are developed in such a way that you can really apply things that happen to other classes to different classes, and then you can start to build on it. So if you want to roll a mage, something like that, go ahead and do it. But I recommend if you really want to make this jump, and you've been struggling because you've been a level 85 character, and you've been whacking away on those training dummies, and then jumping into a battleground, or a raid, or a heroic, whatever it might be, and really struggling, is what you do is you literally start from level 1 in a fresh character, make a plan of your key bindings, and then just go through the game and enjoy the experience. Instead of being, oh, I need to key bind, I really need to key bind, or I'm going to shoot myself, and all this kind of stuff. Forget that. Get, get enjoy the game, man, and just get out there and just plan it out and take it nice and easy. And then eventually you'll start doing some PvP while you're out in the real world. You might jump into a battleground or two. And who cares about level 10 battlegrounds? Nobody. Absolutely nobody cares about that stuff. So go ahead and jump in and just practice your keybinds. A little bit easier. There's only a few spells to press. You're not trying to do spell reflex and rep bombs and all that kind of stuff. You've only got four or five buttons, so just enjoy the PvP as you go along, okay guys? And that's my big recommendation for this week. I really hope you like that. You take it easy, ballers. I'll see you again.